So hey everyone, welcome to part one of creating an agentic framework using Pyrantic AI. Now Pyrantic AI is one of the best frameworks out there in the market that I have used. Uh, it's less painful. Why? Because it's really simple to use and it has all the things that you need uh, for creating a foundation level of agentic AIs. You can even create Google deep search feature and whatnot. Pyrantic also makes some of you some users of the Pydantic library itself and you know it's it's really super amazing let's let's directly uh, jump right into it so some background why we need agents so the llm is just like this so this is just the llm okay you have the chat window and context and stuff so you are kind of restricted so it's llm is at at you know in short if you just create an llm it's just gonna talk uh, to and forth with you it's as a chat gpt but when you are uh, creating agentic ai you actually just you know with responses you can restrict it to whatever you want whatever results you need with that you do that using the base model and stuff and what you can actually do the main specialized power of agentic ai is you can give them function calling or we can say tools you can give tools to this uh, agent AIs such as for example if you want to create Gemini deep search feature you know you're just gonna give this LLM you will use Gemini LLM because it has a very large context window and you know we can just whatever user giving given us we can search the menu of the web page we can scrape the data we can put that data into the context window and we can summarize that and that's basically deep search okay so you know we can do a lot a lot of things using agentic ais you can also create your own uh, video generation platform where you use llm and then it told you to you know go and create this video and you know edit and all those things so llm is like your brain right so which you can do to uh, which you can command to do many different things and tools are like your hand your limbs and all the stuff where you can achieve different stuff all right i hope it makes sense uh it was not i, I think it was not as good example but yeah you get the sense all right so to use this you have to go into terminal and type in python 3 that's m when when this is basically just me creating a simple virtual environment so we can all go into this and after here what you have to do here is pip install pydantic ai now with this it all it will also in, install the pydantic library as well and i will create a script or we can say main.py and here we'll create our first agent all right so i will say from pydantic ai import agent all right so this is what this is what we'll be using to create our agent so this is our main endpoint now if you want to create an agent, you just have to do agent is equal to agent now in here you have to pass three things the model you can type in the model so as you can see it has many different models right in front of you so i just go and grab my gemini api so i go to aistudio.google.com and if you want to use grok you can go to grok and go to playground and create an api key over here with this you'll also need to install python.env uh this we need so that we can you know load this dot n files because it takes uh we'll pass in all of the api keys in here so you can go to the api keys and you can create all of the api keys that you need to do over here and then you can just type in grok api key but we'll use uh, Gemini API key for now so go and here you can get the API key and then you can click over here copy this API key and then paste it as Gemini API key all right so this is what you have to do now here what you have to do is from Python and you can just call this function so this will basically load our uh, environment variables now here we'll use Gemini so you can use flash 1.5 pro 1 for vertex and all those things so we'll use Gemini flash and then here you can just type in result is equal to agent dot run sync and here you can just type in uh, print result so as you see here of uh, in the run results we have all messages we have part kind of data so we can type here dot data as well and here you see I'm a large language model trained by Google I am an AI that can communicate in general so you see we have this particular function now to restrict our uh, you know whatever model it is to a particular response type we could use pydantic base model so from pydantic import base model and we can use response type so why i'm doing this so let's say we write here uh, 
राइट कोड फॉर क्रिएटिंग और राइट कोड फॉर समिंग अप टू नंबर्स सो वी कैन गेट अ क्विक फील सो एज यू कैन सी यूर हियर यू हैव दिस ऑल ऑफ जारगानिश टफ एज वेल सच एज दिस डॉट दिस डॉट दैन वी हैव दिस एग्जाम्पल्स एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स सो यू कैन रिस्ट्रिक्ट इट टू ओनली डू दिस सच एज ओनली गिव दिस फंक्शन सो वॉट विल डू हियर इज विल क्रिएट अ क्लास मॉडल रिस्पॉन्स कोड रिस्पॉन्स will inherit from the base model and we use use this python code to string now in the agent we can use the result type result type is equal to code response and now in data we have also access to our python code as well that's coming up from over here now if we save this and run this as you can see it's giving us python code and this is python code this is valid python code and we can use write code for summing up to num write a function you see it just gives us the code that's it so this is what i was talking about in let's say in whatever llm that you use you have to type give only python code and all those things strictly give so in here you just have to you know just give it a uh, response type and all those things and then you are done all right so this is it for this video and in the next video we'll take a look at how you can uh, you know add functions and many more things coming up in the future so i'll see you in the next video till then see ya have a good day